Lincoln Mitchell. Um, why did I make? Why did I leave Nate X Part Two? That's the name of this video. You know, I made a video right here. Well, why did I leave Nate X? And of course, you can see it has more dislikes than it has likes. I'm gonna see can I really uh, convey the message why I left Nate X? Cause I did get a couple of people that messaged me about it. And they said, are you completely through Nadex? I said, yes. At the very beginning of this video, and I'm going to say it at the beginning of this one, there is nothing wrong with Nadex. I said that at the very beginning. It was my opinion. And everybody jumped down my throat. Ah, Lincoln, why'd you leave? Ah, Lincoln, da, 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 da. Okay. There was nothing wrong with Nadex. I never said one bad thing about Nadex. Only thing I said I don't like is the whipsaw on Nadex. That was it. I did not bash him. I didn't say anything. So on this video, I'm going to see if I can convey the message a little bit better of why I left Nadex. I told you before, my trading style is based on per price action. That's it. So let's use this line right here. Let's say, for instance, for instance, I enter this trade. Uh, I run anywhere from a dollar to seven dollars a pip, right? So I want this to go five pips. If this goes up to here, five pips. What number is this? This is twenty-two. So twenty-two. So I just needed to get here, and I got thirty-five dollars, right? Now, in order for me to lose seventy dollars, in order for me to lose seventy dollars. This has to go, and I'm, we're talking about if I'm running $5 right now. In order for me to lose $70, because since I'm using it in correspondence to Nadex, because remember, Nadex is $100. Everybody who knows how to, for those who don't know how to trade Nadex, everything Nadex does is based on $100. So if you're selling this right now, you'd be paying $27 for that to go down. If you're buying this, you'd be paying $79 for it to go up, but you're only going to profit it was at 79. You're going to only profit $21. Here, if you're buying, I mean, if you're selling this to go down, you're going to profit 20, I mean, $73, but you're investing 27. So everything is a hundred dollar increments on Nadex. So I'm going to see if I can kind of convey that the same way here. So let's say for instance, I'm going to get $27. I'm running $5 a pip. If I go from here, to 20 to cover the spread let's cover the spread so let's get up to 27 right there that's when I'm already at $35 now let's say in order for me to lose $65 since Nadex I mean 25 75 this would have to go back how many pips uh 75 it have to go back uh five how many pips is that people use your head one 15 it had to go back 15 pips, so that'd be 07. So here, bam. So I'm betting that this this line here, I'm gonna put it at 27. Put this one at 07. What was this 21? It was 21. We looked at it right. 21. Now I'm, I'm trying to make this the same principles as Nadex. My yellow line is when I entered this trade. Or uh, blue. Let's look blue. I don't know why. I got to change it. I got to change it. I don't know. I can't do yellow. Yellow means warning. Okay. My blue line, I entered this trade. Now I'm going to use the same scenario as Nadex right here. Let's use this one here. $70. I'm risking $70 to make $28. So that's the close we're going to risk it because you're risking $70, $70 right now. Okay, and I'm going to bring this up in a minute to you. So let's get this right. So I entered this trade here. I entered this trade right here on this blue line. Bam. All I need this thing to do is to go up five pips before it goes back 15 and I made my money. I am not bounded by time at all i could run this sit in this trade as long as i want to and they 
On Nadex, I have to worry about this time expiring in or out of the money. There's nothing wrong with that. But my strategy, my strategy, if you follow me, you would know that I am a strictly price action dude. I don't like putting a time limit on when something is going to hit. I need it to move spot for spot. Now, what the spot for spot means, every time this trade moves, my money will correspond to the movement of the stocks revert regardless whether it goes up one pip i'm getting five dollars if it goes down one pip i'm getting a minus five dollars do y'all understand me my strategy is based solely on price action so if i am thinking this is going to go from here to there i'm putting my money just to hit this line that's it now this line might take two hours it might take two days it might take two seconds but that's my that's what my strategy is based on that's why my strategy doesn't work on breakouts. You would never ever see me trade a breakout because my strategy is called price action. I need targets. So get back to Nadex. So people invest $77 to make, and most people do this. Most people do this. They put up $77 to make $23. Or they put up uh 80, what's that, $79 to make $21 going down. I'm not going to do that, people. That that's To me, that's just too much risk. My wife did a trade this morning. And I was not I was asleep when she did this trade. She didn't want to win these trades. She would run at $3 a pip. She put up $3 and made $20. The farthest it went back was $5, she said. So she only risked roughly $7 to make $20. Now, it went straight down. She was actually in on this move right here. And she entered the trade somewhere around here. It was only 15 minutes. So she was in on this right here. Well, she was only risking $5 to make $20. So she pulled it off. Well, on Nadex, you can risk $14. I mean, um, let me get $20 somewhere around here. Right here. This is $12. This is $20. That was $20 right there. You can risk $20 for it to do that as well. But now... Since you are in options, in options, you are subject to all the Greeks. Yes, Nadex don't put them off to the side like E-Trade and everybody else with the time decay, which is your theta and your intrinsic value. But I know options very well. I started in options. Look at this price. This price moved two ticks. That does not necessarily mean this will go up or down. Yes, if you're deep in the money like this, then... Your intrinsic value come in. But if you're out of the money like this, then your theta is going to eat you alive. That's not how I trade, people. There's nothing wrong with Nadex. I told y'all that. I trade solely on price actions. I don't want a time limit based on when I have to trade. I, I like scratching away the time. Get rid of the time. Right? And I like just scrape pure trading to see if this line is going to hit this line. Um... Let's use this consolidation area right here. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, I entered this trade right here on these, all these dojis, right? Now, we're going to say we entered it roughly around here. We said it's going to go up to this line. And you notice it went down. So now let's say, um, right here. All right, this is my stop loss. <coughs> I said, okay, this is going up. Right here at 67. Do you see 67 right here? I entered this trade at 67. And that goes up, bam. I'm already in the money. I'm already in the money. But it spiked against me. That's the only benefit of Nadex. You want to max out whatever you lose. But I'm still not about to put up $75. I'm sorry. But it comes down. Now, I say, this is my target right here. This little support, this little price action right there. So it goes, bam. Now, this remember, this is a two-hour chart. So this is, I entered here, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 12 hours, then it finally hit my target. No matter what happens, when this thing moves, it's going to move spot for spot. As my money goes up, it's going to click, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Nadex is not going to do that. Nadex has what they call whipsaw. And whipsaw goes both 
for y'all who don't know, uh oh, that's the wrong chart. Whipsaw goes both. This is Whipsaw as well. That high volatility up and down. But Whipsaw also represents the price. Research it, trust me. Well, this, I only got an hour to make it happen in Nadex. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. That's that's not how I trade. Another thing a lot of people miss dearly on Nadex is the spreads. This is a four pip spread. So if you are buying, this is probably the most important part of this video. Let's say for instance we're gonna buy this one out of the money. This is $13. And the price right now is most time 44. The price right now is 34, the indicative. Do you see what I'm saying? So we're in the we're in the money here. We're in the money here, right? That's 44, 30, 35, but we're going to take this one. So we have to get this to go. How many pips? 11 pips because it's 34. I mean, it's 35 now. And in order to get into money, you got to get to 24. So that's 11 pips. If you're trying to do something like that, you better off just trading for it regular. Because if you're trying to get 11 pips, if you're trying to get 11 pips, you can run $5 a pip without a time delay on that. And still make the money. So I don't know what the big hype was about. I told you there's nothing wrong with natives. Everybody now, for all y'all who listen to this video, I would show y'all a trick. But since I got so much backlash on it, yeah, damn, I ain't showing you nothing. You know, I was gonna show you a trick with Nate that worked very well with me. You might be able to tweak it. You know, I don't know. But there was a strategy I did very well with Nate X. Uh, and um because what people fail to realize is Nadex is momentum based. It's momentum based, not necessarily price action based. It's more momentum based. I would show you a little trick on how to really do that, but I'm not. But the reason why I'm making this video because so many people gave me so much backlash on Nadex. Nadex is a great, great binary platform. I said it. I still love them. To do what I do on my, my trader style, my opinion, my opinion, Nadex does not work for me. I don't know how much, I, I don't know why I got so much backlash on my opinion. It was my opinion on my trader style, not yours, not his, not hers. It's my trader style. Nothing wrong with Nadex. Nothing. I made some really good money with Nadex, but I couldn't make it consistently. That's why I left Nadex. I have went into many of these trades that I had called before on a couple groups, and we risked $16, $17, and made $80. But how many times have I lost them? I went into many of these and lost $50. I went into one like this, and it was my last straw. I put up $32. It went all the way in the money, and I like, yeah, it's good. And I walked away from the pewter. I came back, the damn thing spiked up on me. I said, I be God dang. And I lost every last bit of that money. But I never sit around to expiration. And like I said, I am not putting up no $50, $60. I mean, $70. I'm not putting up $70 to make $28. I can do that at 4X and put up $20 to make that same results, man. If you don't believe me, go to trading Trader's Way. Um, you go to Trader's Way and you can do it all day long. But that's my opinion, y'all. That's Don't beat me up on this video. I'm not defending myself. I'm explaining myself. Because a lot of people ask me, hey, Lincoln, you know, I'm easy to reach to. I'm easy. Every comment y'all put on my videos, I read. Anytime y'all send me messages, I read. There's not one person that has never sent me a message to this very day. Knock on wood, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Stock Twit, or YouTube, that I did not respond to. You know, I'm not here. I'm not I'm not saying that so people can hey, ask me questions. I'm just saying, so when people do ask me questions, I do answer them. That doesn't mean 20 people. Thank God I don't have a lot of people watching my channel. That's a good thing about it because I don't get that many messages. I get most of them from Facebook. But that was the moral to my story. There's nothing wrong with the Nadex. Nadex is a great binary platform. Nothing wrong with them whatsoever. I like Nadex. I really do. You know, but my trader style in Nadex does not match. That's it.